Hey, what is up YouTube? It is Techspert back from Techspert.com showing you mainly as a request video how to unroot your phone. If you've been following along with my videos, I show you how to root your phone, install custom ROMs, um, basically get the latest leaks onto your phone. So let's say you want to go ahead and revert back to the original stock firmware. How do you do that? That's commonly referred to as unrooting. So I'm going to show you this quick little video on how to unroot. Uh, we're going to be unrooting back to EL29, the latest Sprint stock version that's out right now, at least until they officially release Ice Cream Sandwich. So if you're running Ice Cream Sandwich or any other kind of modded ROM, this is the file you're going to go back to to unroot your phone. Of course, there's some prerequisite software you need to download. Of course, if you don't have them already, you need to download the Samsung drivers. I'm going to go ahead and include that link in the annotation right now. Second program you need to download is Odin. I'm going to include that link in the annotation right now, so you just click it, download it, and finally the third file I need to download is the actual uh, tar file itself, the actual the firmware we're going to be rooting back to, which is EL29's stock firmware rooted, uh, rooted version. So all of that, you're going to uh, see those links pop up in the annotation, and go ahead and pause the video and come back whenever you finish downloading them. So once you finish downloading those videos, what you're going to want to go ahead and do is go to your desktop. Well, I at least I have my Odin file installed on my desktop. You want to go wherever you installed your Odin file. And you want to go ahead and open it up right here. Make sure these two files are along here with it, the .ini, and these just configuration ones. They should already come with it, so it shouldn't be a big deal. And what you want to do is, especially if you're in Windows 7 or in Windows Vista, you want to go ahead and right click and press run as administrator. This will allow you to make the changes to your phone as necessary. So I already have mine open, so what you want to go ahead and do is, you'll see the screen pop up, the Odin, uh, the Odin screen. So we're going to go head over to PDA in the Odin screen and click the and navigate over to wherever you have your tar file saved. I have mine saved in my Epic 4G Touch files and I have it saved here in Unroot. And you just click the tar file right here, home, and you open it. It should pop up right here. So we're done for so far what we need to do on the computer. What you want to go ahead and do is go over to your phone and go ahead and power it off. Um, do not do not reset it, do not power, just go ahead and straight just power it off. We'll give it a sec to power it off and then I'll continue talking. The next step you're basically going to need to do is put it into Odin download mode. Okay, now that the phone is off, the way you put it into Odin download mode is you press the power and the volume down button at the same time until the Odin screen comes up. Let's go ahead and do that. And as you can see here, here is the warning screen for the Odin download. Uh, I'm sorry, the Odin download mode basically. And you want to go ahead and hit is volume up to continue. As you can see, that little Android guy pops up saying downloading. So this is the point where you plug your phone into your computer. And again, this is, uh, I recommend doing this after you put your phone into Odin download mode, otherwise you're going to have to unplug it and unplug your phone back into the computer. Uh, it's not really, it doesn't make really that much of a difference, but it's a tiny bit of hassle that it saves me. Alright, and as you can see here, it recognized my phone. It is now, it says now COM13. Your phone is going to say that exactly. It's going to say COM and then a number. The number is unimportant. doesn't matter what number it says. As long as it says that number, your phone is recognized and you're all set to go. All you have to do now is just hit start and your phone's going to begin unrooting itself. It's going to turn itself back into the stock uh, file EL29 unrooted so you can take your phone back to Sprint and all of that. So let's go ahead and wait. And I'll pick up once this is done. It shouldn't take too long. Um, just go ahead and you know grab yourself a drink while this is happening. Just come and I'll go ahead and start whenever it's almost done. Now that you see we're almost done downloading, the blue bar on your phone should be almost up, and the green bar in Odin should be up as well. Again, whenever you restart it, it's going to take a little bit while at the first boot screen, but I'm going to go ahead and run through that process right now so you can see that everything is going to be normal. Looks like it's just finishing the last parts right here.
Okay, and as you can see here, the screen went to reset. It's going to go ahead and reboot my phone, and it says pass on it, which means it successfully installed the tar file. So let's go ahead and hop over back to my phone. As you can see here, now I'm back to the uh, custom, I'm sorry, not the custom, the stock boot screen. And I was running I the latest ice cream sandwich, by the way. So as you can see, I did now root my phone. So it's, like I said, it's gonna take a little bit longer at this boot screen. This is nothing to worry about. It shouldn't take any longer than, you know, either two to five minutes. Okay, and as you can see, this looks exactly stock. And we're going to go ahead and go over to the system settings. So it's taking a little while here. I'm going to hit settings and go down to about phone. It's running now, Gingerbread 2.3.6. The build number is Gingerbread EL29. And there is no super user or anything on the phone. So you should, you're back to exactly being at Wi-Fi Tether. I'm sorry, excuse me, I've been stock, uh, stock rooted. All right, guys, I went ahead and showed you how to unroot your phone. Uh, don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and leave in the comments section below. And don't forget to visit www.techspert.com for more reviews, uh, be it for Apple, Mac, uh, anything tech-related, that is your place to go. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next run.